AM 560, The Answer. Welcome back to Get Down to Business. You can check out my website, shalomkline.com. That's where you can download six plus years of podcasts on the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, that's what my next guest is all about. I'm thrilled to be joined by Maria McKenzie um, from Brown Innovations. Innovation is probably the best way that I would define uh, my guest. Maria, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Very happy to be here. Absolutely. Such a pleasure. So let's talk about you. Let's talk about Brown Innovations. Um, Maria, can you tell us, uh, introduce yourself to our listeners? Uh, Tell us a little bit about your background and how it's led to entrepreneurship and innovation. Sure. Um, I've always, always been in sales. I always love the hunt. You know, when I, when somebody tells me, no, my brain hears, oh, you should just ask again. That's what you should do. So I, uh, I, I stumbled onto this company, it's a smaller company, and uh, it located in Chicago, manufacturing is in Boston, uh, completely out of whatever I've sold in the past, and it's basically a technology, almost a, an idea, and uh, these guys can take audio and mold it like it's clay and create zones uh, in any public place so that it doesn't bleed out and cause noise pollution, and there are locations all over the globe. In, uh, in Israel, in, um, in Europe, in France, in the United States, every museum, airport that you could possibly think of, uh, there's probably one of our directional audio speakers. And, and so the point is, is you don't so notice it, them uh, because uh, you're just supposed to hear. Absolutely. Uh, and so COVID hits and you have taken that uh, innovative team and that, that, that technology that, that's out there, your sound equipment manufacturing line, and you have innovative, you have innovated, which is indeed the name of your company, Brown Innovations. So tell us a little bit about what you have been producing. And as we just said, just before uh, coming on air, I actually just saw one of your products in action. <laughs> okay, so, so as things slow down, as they do for everybody, we are lucky that we have a manufacturing facility in Boston. And we started playing around with uh, one of our 3D printers. And uh, started creating face shields because uh, we realized there was a need for PPE, PPE gear. And as, as much as we could, we had all these volunteers that showed up and we started making these shields for the frontline workers. And when that need was fulfilled, we noticed that there were a large amount of people that weren't just frontline workers, but that were trying to go back to work and needed protection. And at this time, face masks were very difficult to find. It was, uh, there was a shortage. So we started selling them to dentists and then restaurant workers called us and uh, salon workers and teachers. And then we realized that we didn't really need to just sell them for people that needed them for work, but just a person who might want to go out uh, in public. And, you know, masks are great. I still carry masks in my pocket. They're easy. But there are times when there are. Uh, they're a little uncomfortable, especially in Chicago here when the weather's very warm. And so uh, we started selling them just to to people who wanted them for their families. And so we have all types of people that are purchasing them now. And they, uh, you know, sometimes you have to wear the masks and we understand that they're, you know, uh, that some some people think that they need them more. Um, But I, I I will say that for a certain lifestyle, uh, the, the shields are wonderful, um, and, and they are recyclable. They are reusable. You just clean them with an alcohol-based product. They're very lightweight and comfortable. You can breathe when, you're, when you have them on. Sometimes people have an issue with the masks uh, you know, in their, when they're on their face. Uh, I, I, I do see a lot of masks on the ground, too, as I'm walking around, unfortunately. And so these things are, you don't, you don't really want to throw them. You're not going to just drop them in the ground. Um, and they, they do come in two sizes, extra large and large. We did notice that the, you know, there are some people that have larger head, and so they need a little more help. I'm going to put one on right now to show you. You just take a little strap, and you just tuck it right over your head. Now, I, this one I happen to have blinged myself. This is like a little rhinestone. And, and what, what, what's fascinating, but, oh, I have my glasses. What's, what, I what's fascinating, Maria, is that obviously we are on radio, and I, I, I am listening to you, and I cannot hear much of the difference as you're wearing the mask, which is so important. And one element of this, which is so important is right now, as we're talking, we are, we are in Illinois, we're in phase four, we're likely going to be in phase four of the reopening for a long time. 
And that means that schools will likely open over the coming weeks and months and all that. And one thing that as business people, we all know is that we, we rely on, on interaction. When there's a mask on, it is really hard to see people's reaction and see the excitement in the conversation. The face shields allow you to, to interact in a whole different way. Tell us a little bit about some of the reaction you're hearing from your customers and people that have been taking advantage. Well, I'm definitely getting orders from speech, speech uh, uh, therapists, uh, teachers who are dealing with younger children who want to be able to have an interaction and not frighten them, you know, to, to show their emotion. Uh, people who are in the restaurant industry and working outside and don't want to get a strange tan line on their face, you know, when they're wearing a mask all day. Um, I'm also getting comments that people can recognize others. And uh, so they like the shield better. Uh, uh, you know, besides, of course, the comfort. And uh, there's also the um, the consensus out there that this is a, a droplet. You know, you can get this from droplets and it does protect your eyes as well. Because oh, you so, can get, so the safety uh, benefits you know, too, which is eyes. so important. So, uh, and one comment uh, that somebody made that I thought was very funny is you can't wear a face shield wrong. <laughs> and I've walked into plenty of restaurants where the uh, person behind the counter has pulled the mask. So it's, they're actually wearing a chin mask. And so, you know, that sort of negates, you know, not this, much of an impact. You, you get Absolutely. Yeah. Lots of benefits to the face shields from Brown innovations. Maria, I, I'm going to squeeze in a quick break. We're going to come back with Maria McKenzie from Brown innovations in just a moment. You're listening to the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Maria McKenzie of this incredible, remarkable face shield will be rejoining me in just a moment. on get down to business. 60, the Hello. answer. So I've been taking notes in my conversation with Maria McKenzie from Brown Innovations, and uh, her team has uh, has reinnovated, retooled directional sound equipment manufacturing line to to produce great quality face shields. And we've just been talking about all of the benefits of face shields. Uh, obviously, I think most importantly, perhaps, is that is that interactive uh, side of things. And we were just talking about the how it's actually more protective. And, you know, right now, as I was just saying before we squeeze in a break, um, people are going out to eat and you can actually keep the face shield on while you're eating. I just experienced that literally just a couple of minutes prior to this recording. So, Maria, your team is so innovative. Uh, you are obviously rolling this out to schools and, and, and you know, folks all over the place. Uh, so. Uh, I want to make sure our listeners know where they can find your face shields. Can you share that website? Absolutely. Our website is uh, browninnovations.com, www.browninnovations.com. We make our products in the U.S. We manufacture in Boston, and our sales office is located in Chicago. And you can learn all about the shields and, our, of course, our other products uh, uh, at, on the website and, um, and our phone number. Everything's there. Fantastic. And Maria, um, when we started this conversation, we talked about the incredible work that your team was doing pre-COVID. Are you continuing to uh, to manufacture the directional sound equipment? When do you hope to get back to that? We are. And as a matter of fact, which, which is what's very interesting that we tried to explain to people before COVID hit is uh, we, we replace the uh, headphones. So when you go to a museum exhibit, and for instance, uh, we had a call from a tour uh, group in uh, Charleston where people were putting on earphones uh, and then taking them off and sharing when they were going through tour sites. You don't have to do that anymore. People don't want to do that because of uh, you know contagion, um, uh, contagious germs. So we now can put our uh, speakers into areas where people can avoid using uh, shared headsets in exhibits and immersive and interactive places. So it's actually been helpful, of course, slow taking off. Everyone's, you know, still not back uh, up to speed, but we anticipate that'll catch up very quickly. Well, you know, you're doing the right thing by innovating and, and providing a critical, uh, or initially providing that PPE, which was so critical. And now, uh, now that we're in phase four and we're reopening and we're getting back into business, you are actually really helping to reopen the economy by ensuring that that folks can do business together, that people can Go out, but do it safely. So I've been chatting with Maria McKenzie from, again, Brown Innovations. Uh, Maria, can you share 
uh, the contact information one more time for our listeners that want to get in touch sure. and want to make sure you get those cool face shields. Yes, uh, phone number 773-477-7500. And our website is www.browninnovations.com. Browninnovations.com. Check it out. And uh, you know what? Send send me a picture through my website, shalomkline.com. Let me know how you're using your new face shield from Brown Innovations. Maria, thank you so much for joining me on the air and good luck with everything. And thank you for all the important work that you're doing. You're listening to the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. What a fantastic lineup that we've had. We spoke with Kara Tiepel from Lawrence Hall. We chatted with Aviv Ezra, the Council General of the State of Israel to the Midwest. Madeline England from Needs and Wants Bakery, and finally, Marie McKenzie. All of our wonderful guest contact information will be posted on my website, shalomkline.com. And on my website, we've been on the air for over six years. I can't believe it. So check out the website, and you can download podcasts from the show. By the way, you can also subscribe to be notified about uh, new shows, both through the website as well as Spotify, Google, Apple, and all of those other places. But remember, right now, it's all about economic development. We need to make sure that we are revitalizing our neighborhoods and make sure, making sure we're doing it safely. That's what the show is all about. I post regularly on my website. So let me know what you're doing, how you're, how you're working to, to reopen safely, how you're working to make your community, your neighborhood's a better place. I love to hear the stories, love it when people reach out to me. And while you are on my website, also be sure to click on the link for Tom Rabali, uh, our health insurance expert. You can check out his website, healthplanchicago.com. He's a wonderful supporter of the show. Reach out to him. Tell him you heard about him on Get Down to Business. To success, let's get down to business. We'll talk to you next Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on AM 560, The Answer. Did you miss the opening? 